everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm gonna go over a Juki Overlock, a uh, pretty special machine um, on the um, overlocking, over edging. Um, so this is a 6843. 6843 is a six thread. Um, overlocking or over edging or serger sewing machine. Usually the original one used to be three thread, then they came up the four thread that I'm gonna show you right now what I mean. Four thread and they came up with the five thread and then they came up now with six thread. And I'm gonna... Is that okay? Good, I dropped something. Pretty okay. I'm okay, that's the main thing. And uh, so my toolbox fell down. Uh, we do not cut. Never when we do our videos, that's why people love us. We don't wanna we don't wanna make it Hollywood. This is gonna be all real live. We where you know we do the sewing machine. If the thread breaks, we go back and we fix it and we show people how thin things are done. Okay, so I I I, I was saying there's a three thread, four thread, five thread, and six thread. I pretty much have videos done all of them and I'm gonna show you what is the difference between with, with all of these things. Um so the three thread, you know, it's just a simple three thread. Uh, imagine this is a five thread. Three thread is only this part, over edging. You have one needle and two loopers. Looper is the thread that comes from the bottom and that they make the three thread. A lot of people use the three thread for um, normal everyday stuff. You just want to over edge the stuff. It's, doesn't really want to secure anything. Um, and three thread also has a marrow edge, very, very fine, which I have videos on, a very, very fine marrow edge that they use for lingerie, for underwear, for fancy, fancy stuff in the bottom of the skirt. You know, those are called marrow edge three thread machine. And then it comes after that three, uh, four thread. And I'm gonna go the, over the four thread. If you could come over here, close one. This is the four thread that I just took from that machine that we're also making. There is a three thread and a thread right in the middle as well. It's more for a stretchy stuff, okay? So I have three thread like a normal one. You have two looper, you have one on this one and you have one in the middle. That makes it a four thread. A lot of people use the four thread for stretchy stuff. Yoga wear, active wear, sport wear. That's what they use. So, but you see, a lot of people don't want to see this. See, I'm going to open this side. You see this one from the other side? A lot of people don't want to see this one. So what they do for more heavy stuff, let's say if you do denim jeans, you're going to go, you want to do denim jeans, you want five thread. Five thread is three threads here and the safety stitch. A safety stitch works like a regular single needle from the top and bottom. So you have two needle on the top, right? You have two thread on the bottom and you have one thread coming from the back, which makes this one is a five thread. This is a five thread. So if I open the five thread from here, really, I can't get to it, it's safety stitch. Even if I rip this one, then you have that one. So there's a safety stitch, a stitch to protect the over edge. Now, after we've done that, now they came out with a new one called 6843. 6843 is a six thread. You have five threads in the front and one thread safety stitch in the back. And that's how it looks. And I'm gonna show you. If you could come close up, you have everything that the five thread has, which is here and here. And then in, you also have one in the middle. Meaning you have one, two, three, four, five, and you have it two in the bottom. So two in the bottom, three on top. So usually the overlocks are two needle, but this one, let me bring the needle up. This one is three needle. So one, two, three needle, and one safety stitch in the back. All right? Now, a lot of people are gonna ask, can we make the three thread to four thread? You cannot make the small ones, um, like three thread, you cannot make the four thread. You could never do that. You have to convert the whole thing. So you have a three thread, it stays three thread. 
If you have a four thread, can you make it to three thread? You can even do that because four thread could only stay four thread, cannot be three thread because if you take one of the, uh, the, the middle thread and you gotta take one of these things out, it's not gonna work out. The only thing that you could do is the five thread and six thread. The five thread, you could make it to a three thread, meaning you have it, and I suggest this to all of the people. If you have a five thread machine, it's better to always buy a five thread because you could use it either five or three. You could use either this, you could take two threads out, so you could do only do this part, or if you want safety seat, you do five thread together. Now with this one, the six thread, you could only do only six or four, only six or four, because the safety stitch are far right, far left. If you take that safety stitch out, this two thread out, then you could do only a, uh, a four thread. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the same thing, the table, the legs, motor, everything is that the video that we did before. 40, uh, 47, 47 the table by 31. Okay, this is drop down style. Drop down style means that you have it fully submerged and then you could use it pretty much here or you could close the door. Uh, you got all the accessories, you got this big, big fat part book and uh, owner's manual that exactly tell you what I told you and it showed you how to adjust things, how to assemble things, how to, the looper, the thread, everything. Like, how to, a lot of people have question, how to run the thread. Either you go to this book right here, uh, or you go here, right here you have, we have a sticker that we put on that show you exactly color coded. And when we also make the, build the sewing machine here, we put it together and like this case, we send it to a customer, we always use color coded threads for the first time. So if there is any, problem, any skipping on the thread, you could find out. Very, very important how to thread your machine. From here, the way the thread stand, the way the thread goes up, through the loop, through all these thread guides, it's very, very, very important. And you gotta make sure that it's, you know, you, I just wanted to fix that one. You're doing the right thing. Um, pedal for the motor, and a food lifter for the food. The machine we assembled is on a brushless servo motor, quiet motor. Uh, bunch of stuff here. First we have the bottle of oil that when you receive this, you pour the whole thing in here, right on top, right here. And you could see from the bottom, right here. There is a window that shows you normal danger. And when we put the oil in there, you do not want to use the machine without any oil. You put the oil, go in there, and you could see it from here, and when you're showing, it's gonna be bubbling from here, pumping up from here, so you could see. That's the oil, you put the whole entire bottle of oil in there from here, okay? These are the shoes for the machine, so it won't move around. We have needle, the needle dot DC27 or B27, uh, you have a, a screw uh, uh, for the needle, and you have the needle set, a screwdriver. Uh, you have two different types of screwdriver that come with the machine. You have the, I don't know why we have two, but we have two of these things. Uh, dust cover, um, and you have bunch of tools here, tweezers, extra set of um, knives, and some accessories. Okay, very nice, beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing if you don't mind. And you guys are waiting, I'm talking a lot, but this is part of the business. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna put this back down and here down. Again, Threading is very important when you receive the machine, do not take the thread out. Do not take the thread out. All, and I'm gonna tell you how you do it. When you get the, when you receive the machine and you wanna change the thread, you put your thread here, 
you cut the thread from here and you continue sewing. I mean, pulling through. Now, this is if you receive the machine assembled. If you receive it unassembled, like you see, let's say that one across, that one we're putting together, but we just took that out of the box. So you see there are threads in them from factory. When Juki factory sent the machine out, they tried the machine, so there is thread in them. In that case also, you do not want to take the thread out, meaning you put the thread on top and you just pull it through. I have the new tech LED lamp on, we have everything on. Um, I'm gonna just get rid of this stuff here that came from the factory. That's how it shows you the sewing. I hope you see all the one on top, one in the bottom makes it two, one in the bottom makes it three, four, five, and two looper make it six. All right, very nice. Go ahead and adjust the foot, put it down. And, all right, the machine is on. piece of uh, uh, cotton that it looks much better when I sew, it's a natural color, put it in there, and that's how fast this thing goes, see that, this is a six thread, one, two, three, four, five. I mean the five, two in the bottom, so it's six. One, two, three here, two on the bottom, that's five, and one is here, six. Uh, now, everything here is color coded. You see, you have the green one, you have the yellow one, you have another yellow one, a red one, and a yellow one. Oh, I mean, you have these two because these two go through here. See, a yellow one, and you see the yellow one here. Everything is color coded. A lot of people call and ask, what is this for? This is for a needle guard. So when you're going sewing and the needle breaks, it, that, that you don't want it to hit your eyes. So cover it down, okay? What is this here? This is the pad here. You could just drop a couple of silicone oil or a spray, a silicone spray. We have a silicone spray and we have a silicone oil. In the bottle here, you do not put any oil from here to this bottle. This one also, you could put a silicone oil. Or Druid sells this tiny, small bottle called sewing aids. Okay? You could just put everything in there. It helps the machine with sewing going faster. All right? So that's all about it. When, when you buy this machine, this is the only thing about it. You gotta make sure that the thread is right. Now, Adjustment of the thread. This is the question that a lot of people have from us. How to adjust the thread? I mean, the, the um, measure. See, this is in the back, how the thread comes. You're gonna see it again on the, um, in the book. And you could follow here. There is adjustment here for the thread to have the thread the stitch length, I'm sorry. The stitch length here, wider or tighter? Wider or tighter? That's how you use from here. I mean, you could, it shows here, it's a plus and a minus, you guys don't see it if you go lefty, tidy, righty, loosey. That's the way it is here. Um, machine is perfect, perfect shape. What else do you need to know? Um, I just wanted to show you the stitching on the 6843 versus the 6814, which is four thread. 6816, which is five thread, and 6804, which is three thread. Now, a lot, a lot of people want to know the one 
these are here. Like there is a 30, there is a 40, there is a 50 um, here. So the most common ones are 40 and 50. This is the, um, how heavy the machine shows. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, all of them are the same. You don't even know the difference, but a lot of people call and say, uh, why did I get 40H or 50H? Doesn't really matter. Uh, 50H is a little bit um, wider by millimeter. Even your eyes can't tell. If you go to our website, you'll see there is a bracket that shows 40 and 50. So you have the 6843. The machine is made in Japan. I mean, made in China. All the threadings are here. Everything is here. Don't worry. You could really do it. It's not a big deal. Uh, what else do we want to talk about the machine? A great sewing machine. Uh, if you want to know, if you need the six thread, I don't know if you need the six thread. We get once in a while an order for six thread, and that's how I'm making the video. The most common one are the five thread and a four thread. Uh, I think four and five are the same. We sell the same quantities, but like we sell 95% for, I mean, 99% for, uh, um, uh, four thread and five thread and one person between the six thread and a three thread. Again, this is David from goldstartool.com. This is your, uh, uh, this is duty sewing machine. Call, let me know and uh, ask me if you have uh, any question regarding sewing. You could adjust the speed, by the way, on the motor and this one. You could, there is a volume down there that you could do high and low, but a lot of people wanted me to tell me why don't you zoom uh, through sewing. I mean, I, the reason I'm not, uh, and I'm gonna do this one more time before I go. I'm, I did four, two layer, I'm gonna do four layer now for you guys to see. The reason that I'm not zooming is because I don't have oil in here. I mean, it's okay for me. I know how to push it, not to the limit. I don't wanna, uh, you know, I don't want to uh, damage the machine, but here, you wanna see four, thread, four layers easily. And you know what? And just for the sake of it, that's two. I'm gonna do four, and I'm gonna do eight. From here, this is, you see it's doing eight. That's eight layer of sewing. Beautiful. Look at that. So we started with two, okay? And you could see in the back. I mean, we did two here. I did four here, and here I did four thread. Look at that, beautiful. If you feel like some of these are loose, you could always play with this. And when I tell you play with this, I don't mean go entire, you know. You could do two or three clicks and see how it is. Again, David from Gold Star Tool, thank you for watching and have a great time.